miss this topic for your upcoming NEET PG exam and it is types of respiratory failure. And if you want notes prepared by me for this topic, follow me and share this reel to my DM and I will send it to you. Okay. Now there are four types of respiratory failure. For every respiratory failure, you have to know what are the causes, what happens to PO2, what happens to PCO2 and how do you treat. Now coming to type 1 respiratory failure, alveolus is affected in this disease, the alveolus is flat. Causes of type 1 respiratory failure, remember this mnemonic, post in the app. Okay. So P stands for pulmonary edema. S stands for sepsis, T stands for transfusion associated lung injury and AP A stands for ARDS, P stands for pancreatitis and next P stands for pneumonia. Now remember in type 1 only one thing is affected that is PO2 reduces or it is hypoxemic. PCO2 is normal. Now coming to type 2 respiratory failure, any respiratory unit other than the alveolus, for example starting from the brain to bronchus, any of this can be affected in type 2 respiratory failure. For the causes, remember the mnemonic COPD, C stands for central causes like drugs or meningitis, O stands for obstruction like COPD, P stands for pleural disorder, it also stands for peripheral disorders like Guillain-Barre syndrome and myasthenia gravis and D stands for diastrophic disorders. So in this type 2, two things will be affected that is PO2 will reduce, PCO2 will increase. Okay, And treatment for this is NIV. And uh, coming to type 3, remember 3 rhymes with surgery, type 3 respiratory failure is seen post-surgically. Okay, And the treatment for this is uh, incentive spiromas physiotherapy. Now in the comment box, let me know what is type 4 respiratory failure.